Hi, I'm Les Milligan, ACC Crappie 6 Pro Staff, Touring Crappie Pro. Uh, today I'm going to share a little bit of information on how I set up my hummingbird unit for mapping. When I go to a brand new body of water, there's a few things that I like to do to my map, not only to keep me safe, but to all, also be able to uh, eliminate water and break down some of these key areas that I've, I'm trying to focus on. All right, so here we have the Hummingbird Solix. And when you put the Lake Master uh, card in, it's gonna give you all of these bottom contours. But if you just look at this map, it's solid white. You can't tell what any of these lines are doing. Um, so we're gonna try to make some adjustments to our screen to make this mapping really pop out. The first thing I'm gonna do on a new body of water is I'm gonna turn on my shallow water highlight. That's what's gonna keep me safe because I don't know anything about this lake. So I'm gonna hit my menu once. I'm gonna to go to Hummingbird Settings and I'm gonna turn Shallow Water Highlight. I'm gonna turn that on and I'm gonna set it to five feet. That's gonna make anything less than five feet show up red. So I know where any kind of shallow hazard or some kind of shallow underwater structure is gonna be so that I don't hit that with my boat. The second thing I'm gonna do is I'm, I wanna shade this map to where these, these there's more color to this. Normally, uh, depth colors come set from the factory at five. I'm gonna turn that all the way down to one. And you can see what kind of change. See how all this blue, all the blue, now all the different depths are all shaded. I'm starting to be able to tell a lot more what's going on here. So when I first got to Toledo Bend, I just went and started scanning with my side, side imaging. And I, start on, I started on some points. Fish love points. So I went to this point here, and that's where I caught my first fish, was right on that point. And my live scope told me that that was a brush pile in 20 foot of water. However, my, my depth contour lines did not match what my Garmin was telling me was the depth because right now Toledo Bend is four foot low. So I needed to come in and get all of my, my, my lines to the right depth. So I turned water level offset, I turned that to on, and with it being four foot low, I needed to adjust it to negative three feet. Now all my contour lines are the exact depth that I need. So I found a, a brush pile, caught my fish in 20 feet, Chances are you're gonna be able to follow that pattern all over the lake. So now I wanna start eliminating water. How am I gonna eliminate water with my map? I'm gonna to go to Hummingbird Settings and I'm gonna highlight the depth of water that I caught that fish in. So I caught that fish in 20 feet. Chances are they're not gonna be in exactly 20 feet so I try to give it a range. So I set my depth to highlight anywhere from 18 foot and my highlight range to three foot. What that's gonna do is it's gonna highlight in green anything plus or minus 18 feet. So that's gonna be 15 to 21 feet is now highlighted in green. The whole entire lake. 15 to 21 feet is now highlighted green on the entire lake. So now I'm gonna take my boat and I'm gonna get in this green and I'm just gonna start scanning. I don't have to worry about all this, all the other colors, all the other blues, I don't have to worry about that. I know them crappie are in 20 foot of water. So here at Toledo Bend, being the number five largest lake in the whole country, it can be extremely in intimidating. This lake is solid timber. So hopefully with these, these map settings that I've just showed you, you're gonna feel more confident going to a big body of water and being able to eliminate 80% of the water. The hardest piece of the puzzle is getting that first bite. Once you get that first bite, it's game on from there. I'm Les Milligan, I hope you enjoyed these tips.